How to Build a Vertical Barrel Garden, Part 1. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of outdoor space to garden. So I need to maximize my vertical space as much as possible. And the best technique I've found to do this is to take an old wine barrel and convert it into a vertical barrel garden. Let me show you how to do it. Now the first thing that you'll need is of course a barrel. I prefer wine barrels. There's no plastic or other sort of chemicals that might leach into the food. You can always use a rain barrel. Just make sure that it's made of food grade plastic. How to build a vertical barrel garden, part two. So what we're gonna do is remove the top, fill it with soil, put a tube down the center of it to act as our worm composter, and then drill holes in the side to plug plants into. So here's everything you'll need. You'll need four one by four cedar boards. Uh, these are a little bit longer than I need them to be, so I'm gonna have to cut them down. Stay tuned for that. You're gonna need some aluminum shake nails. These are one and three quarter inch by 0.099 inch. You can also use stainless steel, but these are specifically made for use with cedar wood, which is what I have. You need a drill with a one quarter inch drill bit, a circular saw, a hammer, and a keyhole saw. Now, if I had a handheld jigsaw or a sawzall, I'd use that instead, but I don't, so here we are. One more thing that you'll need is something to set your barrel on top of once it's done. And it has to have an opening at the bottom and a clearance of, you know, at least four inches, I would say. Because you're going to want to collect the compost water that comes out the bottom of the barrel. So I've chosen a firewood rack because it's sturdy and it has the right dimensions. It's about 28, almost 29 inches across on the inside dimension. And that's plenty of room to hold my barrel. You're also going to need a set of Forzner bits or some other sort of bit that can bore holes into wood. How to create a vertical barrel garden, part three. Now you're gonna to wanna to take one of the boards that we're gonna use for the central composting tube and stand it up against your barrel. And then mark about six inches above the top of your barrel. Now it's not important that you be super accurate about this. Just know that in the end, it's gonna stick out a couple inches below the barrel and about four inches above. Next, we'll be assembling our boards into our compost tube. Don't forget to save your extra scrap wood, we'll be using that later. So, now that I have the compost tube assembled, I've tipped the barrel on its end, and I'm gonna trace around where the hole is gonna go that it will eventually fit through. Now that I have my square traced, the next step is to drill a hole at each of the four corners of the square that I've traced out. I broke down and rented a jigsaw, but this will be the same process even if you just use a manual keyhole saw. Just like that. So this gives us a, a starting point to get our, our blade for our reciprocating saw or our jigsaw in and just cut straight lines real easy across. That's exactly what we're gonna want. Now, and the final product, it's gonna be coming from the other side, but it'll fit just the same, and that's the important part. How to create a vertical barrel garden, part four. So now I've nailed another board to the other side of what is going to be our compost tube. And these two uh, pieces together are gonna to keep our compost tube from sliding through the barrel once we set it in place. I just want to give you a little close-up of how I've arranged the boards. So approximately three and a half inches of space all the way through the tube. Our next task is to put holes into the worm tower for the compost worms to get in and out of. And this is going to help the aeration of your barrel because the worms will just naturally dig tunnels into it and help aerate it. And it's also going to help with the adding of nutrients down deep because they'll leave their worm casting behind. So basically all we're gonna do is put a bunch of holes in each side. 
we have our quarter inch bit. Now you can use a much smaller bit if you like. Worms can squeeze through you know, pretty much any hole that you're gonna have a drill bit for. But uh, this is just what I happen to have on hand, so this is what I'm gonna use. with all these holes as you drop in compost to the top and your worms in on top of it, they'll go in and out of the holes and aerate your soil and leave behind some fertilizer. Okay, next we're going to be taking off the top of the barrel. Now, as I said before, this is nice wood, so if you want to save it, you can carve all the way around the outside of it and turn it into a Lazy Susan or maybe a stool or a bench or whatever you want to do with it. But I don't really have any interest in doing that, so I'm just going to cut it off as easy as I can. Should just take a few hammer taps to get the rest off. And there you have it. So now that we have the top off our barrel, let's take a look inside. So you can see the hole that the, the worm tower slash compost tube is gonna fit down into. Now I just left all the wood from the top of the barrel at the bottom. The reason for that is that it's gonna take a lot of, of volume to actually fill this thing. The standard wine barrel is about 60 gallons. So since I'm not really planting much near the bottom of the barrel, there's no reason not to just leave the, the wood in there to act as more filler. So now I've set the worm tower slash compost tube right down into that slot. See all the way through. Eventually we are going to cap off the end of it with a screen that's gonna allow the compost juices to filter through, but prevent all the solid matter of the compost from passing through before we need it to. You can see those boards at the bottom keep it from slipping through. And these holes right here are where the worms are going to come in and out and help to aerate our system. Our next step is going to be drilling the holes to really increase the, the vertical capacity for this garden. So we're going to put holes in each of these, in between each of these bands here and pop fruits and vegetables into them to grow. How to make a vertical barrel garden, part five. So here I have my set of Forzner bits, and I'm just going to take one out and see which one lines up best with the bands of wood between the steel bands that hold the barrel together. Let's try the one and five eighths. Yeah, that should work just fine. So we'll use this bit to start drilling holes all along this band. Well, it looks like I broke my drill. <laughs> so we're gonna have to fix that before we continue. So that last drill ended up being complete crap and I ended up having to throw it away. But I have another one that I borrowed now, so let's continue on with the drilling. So I found that the Forzner bit works a lot better if I drill a pilot hole first. So, pro tip. Now, I have done about as many holes as I'm going to do. So I've already started to fill the barrel in. I just took whatever compost and, and uh, shredded paper I had and, and just tossed it in there. And this is mostly to fill up the barrel. Once I get up to, to where I'm gonna be planting, then I'll start using soil instead. So I finally got my barrel filled and now it's time to start planting it. I've planted all of the holes that I drilled into the side except one. And I'm just going to show you how you do it. It's pretty easy. You just take something that's uh, about this size, like one of the small two inch plugs works best since we have two inch holes. 
I'm just going to kind of shove it right in there. And voila, we have it planted. So now I'm going to take this old headscarf and this rubber band and attach it underneath the barrel to the bottom of the compost tower to cap it off and hold in all of our compost. Well, it wasn't easy to accomplish, but I finally got the uh, nylon on the bottom part of the barrel to hold in the compost. Let me show you what it looks like from the other side. So now it's all capped off and ready to start having compost put into it. I don't want to forget to put my tray back underneath the compost tower so that I can collect any sort of compost juices that might come through. The compost tea, as it's called, is very nutritious, so we can use it to water plants and give them nutrients at the same time. So here it is, the final product. As you can see, everything's all planted now. It is the end of the season, so I was only able to get a couple of kales as edible plants, but you can plant it with any mixture that you want of flowers, food, medicine, whatever you like. So now I have a lot more space for planting, a lot more space for compost that I've never had before. Thanks for watching my videos, and I hope you tune in next time for the next project that I do.